Kaan Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahshai Bashim Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to the hopeful electors pushing his truth in sincerity. So, I actually woke up and I woke up with this song in my mind from uh, Lee Scratch Perry Panic, Panic in a Babylon. Because that is that is actually what is taking place right now. All these bank runs, um, the financial uncertainty. Uh, people don't know what to do, you know. The fear of losing. The fear of losing everything is is the, is the, is one of the most biggest threats for these people in in this wicked empire, man. You know, the losing of your money, your wealth. So, um, let me just play a small piece from this song, and then we're gonna jump into uh, then we're gonna jump into uh, into this uh, into this lesson. Panic! 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 American government, panic Italian government, panic, panic Cuban government, international panic, universal panic, Babylon panic, and Babylon panic, I get away from I, never get away from Lee. Never get away from I Never get away from I I No one ever get away from I So the point is actually made and you the way how you hear the the trumpets in the back also sounding the alarm <laughs> This whole wicked place is about to tumble down to the ground First it starts with the whole the whole financial system which is going to you know, it's going down. The re-establishment is the move that ESO is trying to make. You know, uh, uh, the great reset. But also, as it is mentioned in this article, prepare for governments to push the CBDCs. The CBDCs will be pushed in the wake of the Silicon Valley bank collapse. So, what is it that they want? They want, um, they're moving towards a, a cashless society. You know, they, they're moving towards everything needs to be digital, digital currencies. That is where we're moving towards, man. So it says over 100 of the world governments are planning to push CBDCs. And the collapse of Silicon Valley may have given them the perfect opportunity to, to introduce this nightmarish surveillance tech. And again, it says surveillance tech because it's about control. You know, they want to track and trace every every move that you make, every every buy or sell, every transaction needs to be tracked and traced by them because you you will become their perpetual slave. It says the heightened fear of bank runs, people running in panic towards the bank, and the growing calls for more government controls to prevent another Silicon Bank uh, uh, Silicon Valley bank style event has created space for governments to swoop in and present CBDCs as a solution. So we are known with this with this whole tactic of Esau Edom, but with he is causing a problem, problem, reaction, solution. He creates a problem. This whole this whole event that is taking place is not a coincidence. This is this, this is planned and executed. And after he planned and executed it, people's fear grow. And then this man this man slides in 
and he and he um, well after the after the the problem there's a reaction the fear the fear of this happening again the fear of losing everything social media being used uh, um, certain based censorship but also the controlled steering of information towards the people is igniting a certain reaction and then he comes with a solution well this is a solution this is their solution which is profitable for the for the elites it says prepare for these talking points to become prominent as governments ramp up their efforts to push cbdc's talking points one um, cbdc's will protect you from social media bank runs. so see the convenience in protection and that's what people want people that is what people want to hear right now in panic and fear in doubt in uncertainty they want to hear they want to hear a speech that is that is convincing them that they're safe their savings are safe this is not going to happen anymore we got to move we got to we got to improve the way how things were established so that, so that these things can't happen anymore let me see what it says here within days of silicon valley bank's failure it was described as the first social media field bank run in history and fears about social media this info started to be stoked. We saw the first meme tick social media field bank run in history uh, Thursday and Friday. As my, as my partners and I spent the weekend working to help our portfolio companies, you can be sure our foreign adversaries are ramping up. Social media disinfo campaigns to fuel further bank runs. So, boom, 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 boom. A similar talking points were quickly echoed by politicians, United States House of Financial Service. A chairman, Patrick McHenry, described it as the first Twitter field bank run. During an emergency conference call with high ranking federal government officials, Senator Mark Kelly asked if the officials were reaching out to the, uh, to the tech platform to monitor misinformation and bad actors and inquired about the possibility of censoring social media posts to avoid a bank run. So, of course, they're trying to, to, to control and steer things. Um, but but it's unavoidable. You know, the credo, the credo of these elites is order up cow, which, which means order out of chaos. Governments are likely to seize upon and amplify these fears of social media bank runs as they push new regulations and proposals in the wake of Silicon Valley bank collapse and they are likely to position CBDs as a solution be on the lookout for suggestions from officials that CBDCs are safe and immune to social media bank runs which such promises may soothe citizens fear of bank runs this fear will be replaced with something far worse for those that embrace CBDCs programmable uh, programmable money that allows the government to dictate when, where, or citizens can spend their money. More control, more power to the government is what's going. Is is what is actually is where it's leading towards. Talking point two: CBDCs will provide financial stability, and this is what people want. People want financial stability. Um, as Silicon Valley Bank collapsed, the prospect of widespread financial contagion event loomed companies said they were left unable to play to pay staff mm -hmm. large online platforms delayed payments to sellers and other companies revealed that they held significant portions of their cash at silicon valley bank so this is a very a very grievous impact while the u.s government stepping in to guarantee silicon valley bank customers uh, disp deposits appears to have adverted much of the wider financial collateral damage, although this won't be fully apparent until more time has passed. President Joe Biden has already vowed to reduce the risk of this happening again. Promises, promises, promises. Get ready for the governments to capitalize uh, on the fear of financial instability and the use of this narrative to push new rules and regulations that will supposedly provide financial stability. You see, so when in these instable, unsure times, people fear, people panic, people run, uh, uh, um, uh, you're going to have you're going to have uh, a social media also playing a big role. And then 
the government, the president, the government is coming up with, with a solution which where, where they want to provide where they want to provide stability. It says they like they likely blame banks for creating financial blow-ups, insist that governments need more control over the financial system, and present CBDCs as the uh, present CBDCs as the tool that will bring financial stability. Bub, 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 those that fall for this fantasy will 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 be looped into a system that anything that is anything but stable. Instead of bringing financial stability, CBDCs will force citizens into a constant state of financial uncertainty where they never know when the rules about how they can spend their money will change or how significant the change will be. Again, the same outcome. Then you have talking point three. CBDCs should be used for, for customers' uh, deposit protection. Many governments have already cited um, making direct payments to citizens as one of the main use cases of the CBDC. If more banks fail, expect governments to start increasingly focus on CBDCs as a solution for affected customers. It has been on the lookout for governments urging citizens to download CBDC wallet apps during times of financial uncertainty they likely assert that it is more stream what is it streamlined or efficient way for customers to have instant access to their deposits in event of bank failures yeah because now <coughs> now the, the the fear and the uncertainty is, is that when people want their money you can you cannot get to your money immediately and um, the 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 fantasy or the trick is to give people this this hope or this so-called guarantee that by the way of a wallet you can get to your money immediately um, so while cbdc's may provide some short-term convenience during financially a turbulent time citizens that choose cbdc's will be sacrificing their freedom and privacy long term once they have been ushered into the system they lose their ability and transact anonymously and only be allowed to spend their cbdc's on government approved purchases which in any in any case you see that it is the 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 decrease of any form of control over your own money the decrease of of privacy um, you when when you when this will be introduced or when you give in onto this, you actually give full control onto the government, and the government will dictate and how and what, you know. And that's why it says remain vigilant against CBDCs. I'm not going to read the whole piece of here because it also goes into things which is which is most likely for them to say that it's against against what they want on on certain platforms. So the next step which we already been speaking about is the movement or the implementing of CBDCs, cashless society, uh, the implementing of the Karakma, you know, the, the, the mark of the beast, the micro CHIP. Um, let's jump into some scriptures. This is in the book of Habakkuk chapter two, verse one. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I'm reproved. So, we are standing on that watchtower, continually watching, looking at the news, looking at what is taking place in this earth, and we're filtering it by the way of the script, because it is biblically appointed that this whole wicked empire is about to go down. But before it goes down, you will see all type of catastrophe, all type of uh, a tribulation, a financial hell, a pestilence would be unleashed, and the financial hell that you see taking place is what many a times is spoken about you know the great reset the re-establishment of this whole economic system a cashless society uh the mandatory making of the of the of the micro c hip the, the karakma aka the mark of the beast mentioned in the bible where with these elites <clears throat> where with these elites want to have full control over all the people so we are watching at all the steps and we filter it and we report towards the people 
It says, And the Lord said unto me, answered unto me, and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. So this is the vision. What is the vision, the fulfillment of this prophecy? What is it that we can see? We can see that uh, uh, where this is heading towards, man. We, we can see that Esau, the rulers, the globalists are not sitting still. They create problems. They create scenarios. They create all type of disaster. And then they use this disaster to usher in and to push stronger and further towards the ultimate goal. You know? It says, um, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And it's closer than ever. You know, we're closer than ever. As you see, these type of things take place. Many may think like it's a coincidence. This is not a coincidence. Anything, anything that takes place within the economy in such huge uh, uh, impact, in such huge uh, changes, this is all planned and executed by the globalists, by the rulers on this earth. You know, so this is this is another another um, a huge uh, shifting point within um, uh, the economic establishment and moving towards. Um, their hope in fulfilling the, the establishment of their economic system, eh? you know, it will not tarry. It's 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 here. You know, you can see it. You should be able to see what is taking place. So, in the book of Isaiah, chapter thirty-three, verse six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So, when these people are in total fear, panic, not sure what to do, how to react, how to deal with this. Our mind has been already groomed by the Heavenly Father to understand that you got to be in the spirit of the Heavenly Father to conquer what is going to take place. If, you're, if your mind, if your heart is focused on this world and riches and all of it, you're going to lose it, man. And that is to say that not, not only the ones that are, are completely focused upon the world, you know, you might even have, you might even have those that are in the truth uh, impacted and they will be impacted. You know, and that's why the scripture speaks about, uh, uh, what is it, scripture in the book of uh, Galatians, bearing each other's burdens, man. You know, because it's removing, truly removing, truly towards a time where a hardship is coming. And it's not only going to fall upon the ones that are completely given over onto the ways of the world, but also the, the difficulty and the hardship, the temptation, the burdens upon those that are serving the Lord, they, they're going to experience things as well. But the Lord has established protection, you know, a safe haven, uh, a cover to the spirit and power for those that are walking in his footsteps. It says in the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 1, Brethren, if any man, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering them thyself, lest thou also be tempted. You see, um, that is what we right now continually uh, try to do you know as as you see your brothers and sisters some of them are still or many of them are actually are still in the world you know and even those that are in this truth if you stumble if you fall or you see your brother or sister going in a certain way which is unprofitable for him or her you protect you know that is that is what the most high wants us to do it says bear ye one another's burden and so fulfill the law of the Mashiach. Yeah, man. So things are going to get hectic upon this earth, man. As I was listening to the video from um, from the elder, um, elder Yeshuama from the Dallas camp, he was explaining about how uh, situations might exist, about how uh, our brothers might be ending up inside of the house of somebody else because because of the, the great uncertainty and the, the impact that it might have on others. That's why the scripture speaks about Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 4. Ecclesiastes 4. It says, um, what is it? Here. Boom. Yeah, two, verse nine. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, 
but woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he had not another to help him up. You see, so when things are getting too difficult or too hard to bear for you, you got you got you got brothers or you got brothers around you that can help you, man. You know, and that's why it is important to have more around you, man. In this situation as it is upon this earth today, you don't want to be walking uh, completely alone because you might get consumed. So again it says in the book of Isaiah 33 verse 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You see, so this is what stabilizes our mind. As the people are panicking, you know, being unsure about what is taking place, our trust is in the Lord and our prayers towards the Most High in guiding in how it's going to work because it's still it's still captivity man you know i was just sitting as well yesterday and i was thinking like man you know you desire the the downfall of this wicked empire you desire the destruction upon your enemies but the reality is we're still in this wicked empire as we have this truth as we have the connection with the most high these 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 wicked uh, 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 creatures, these, this nation, the nation of Edom, but also amongst our own nation in the world, people that may know you from the world or whatever it is. This is still, this is still their time. This is still their space. So we have to, we have to bear things as well. You know, we have to endure a lot of things in this empire as well. You know, the book of uh, the book of Psalms, thirty-six, verse one. It says. The transgressions of the wicked say it within my heart. There is no fear of the Most High before his eyes. So the rulers of this earth, they don't fear the Most High. Their mind is not towards the Heavenly Father. as how we look towards the Most High in hope and fear. As you bow down on your knees, confess and ask the Heavenly Father to cleanse you, to, to, to guide you, to give you the strength in these, in these days also. Yes, we see the fulfillment of the downfall of this wicked empire, but it also describes the bible also describes that we we also have to go to to the fire you know it's not it's not a walk to the park for us it's there's a reason why it's called the straight gate so you will experience hardship difficulty you know the uproars of of spirits towards you as our mind is focused on the downfall of this empire you got minds that are desiring for for the continuation of this empire so the spirit the spirit of this world is contrary unto our mind or conduct or our spirit our desire in the book of uh, Zechariah chapter 13 verse 7 awake O sword against my shepherd against the the man that is my fellow said the Lord of hosts smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered and I will turn my hands upon the little ones and who are the little ones we are the little ones you know, those that came back towards the Most High and that followed the Lord, walking in His way, fear Him, you know, but also but also, the ones that are continually being targeted. You know, the, the, a, sheep, a, sheep, a sheep is not in a position right now to, to, to do anything. A sheep cannot fight against a wolves or other predators. So the sheep needs the shepherd. The shepherd is guiding and protecting us and that is taking place by the way of the the word and by the way of the spirit you know true yahweh shai and it shall come to pass that in all the land talking about america say the lord two parts the wind shall be cut off and die so even amongst the nation of israel not all of them are going to be saved you know just because we are the chosen people of the most high doesn't mean that we we will not be impacted or we will not see things we will not experience things that are going to be difficult also for us it says, but a third shall be left therein, which is talking about the elect. And I will bring the third part through the fire, through the difficulty, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. And this, this, this part is right now also taking place. You know, anything can happen unto you in this wicked empire. You can also lose things. You can be in a situation of being unsure. You know, I was watching. Uh, I was watching. Um, the elder brother, um, uh, oh man, I, I forgot his name. Salah, I, I forgot his name. But I was watching, I was watching his fit, and and he, 
he made he made a video about how he lost his job and how um, how it had a humbling effect you know and that is that is what that is what difficulty adversity is actually doing you know because as we as we push this truth as we obtain what we have obtained from the most high you know you got you got passionate you get fired up you get into a spirit of uh, feeling uh, uh, untouchable you know when you when you get into the teaching spirit you know you feel you feel such a power but this power this power can be can can get out and can cause um, all type of things man like like this this truth is so so crazy man you know I was just sitting and listening to what he was saying and I was like damn I was like damn man sometimes you just sit and you see and you just completely you, you just completely understand what the brother was saying man like the Lord can lift the Lord can lift and the Lord can take you down man the Lord can steer you and the Lord can lower you you know with the understanding like we ain't there yet you know be still in their empire it's still it's still their their it's still the playground of the devil it's still it's still dealing with the curses it's still the power the sword giving into the hand of the wicked you know it says in the book of acts chapter 14 verse 22 confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom and that is what that is what is taking place upon this earth today man you know as we as we see things come in the past as you get into the scriptures you, you you're passionate you got this confidence but the lord also shows you like even though we already have what the most i gave us as a gift it does not mean that we already there we 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 have not obtained we, we have not finished the course yet you see it says it here in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. You know? And spiritually the Lord, the Lord lifted us up already. He gave us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But the most I can also lower you in the way of uh, causing you to consider that we are not there yet. You know, we, we, we haven't finished we haven't finished what we have started that is what the lord also is doing and these type of situations which are taking place on this earth is, is truly causing you to sit and to think like yeah that we are not there yet man we haven't finished what the most i gave unto us you know he said it says he raised it up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the lord's and he had set the world upon them you see so the lord the lord lifts up and the lord the lord the lord lowers you so that you remain focused upon him you know so that you don't deem yourself above who you are or what the most i gave unto you you know it says, and I will bring the third part for the fire. So the fire is right now burning all over the globe and everybody is being impacted. You know, it, 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 it is actually different individually, but also collectively you will go to things and will refine them as silver is refined. They will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, and I will hear them. And I will say, it is my people and they shall say, the Lord is my power. We have to trust upon the Most High continually, man. There's no, there's no other way of conquering this force and this, this wickedness that is taking place. You know. It says, "For he flattered himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He had left off to be wise and to do good, and that is what you see with these globalists, these Edomites, but also." All, all that are giving themselves over onto the system, man. You know, they, they're not walking in the wisdom or the fear of the Most High. Many people put their trust in riches. They don't fear the Most High for, for trotting down on, on 
for trotting on uh, the babes, the hopeful, the hopeful elect. You got a lot of people in the world truly, truly busy with with fighting and and trying to prevent us from finishing your course. That is what that is what Satan is doing continually. It says he defies it mischief upon his bed, hasted himself in a way that is not good. He abhorred not evil. Yeah, man. So this is this is a prime example of how Esau is sitting upon his bed. And what does it mean to be sitting upon his bed? He's continually thinking in ways of uh, creating schemes. He's thinking in ways of how he can corrupt the minds of our people. He's thinking in ways how he can censor the, the videos of, of us warning and, and sounding the alarm. He's thinking in ways of how he can how he can usher in the establishment of a cashless society. This this whole NWO uh, establishment, the mandatory making of the mark of the beast, and how it can be presented in a way that people truly deem it as as progression, as as improvement. It's safer. It's more protection. It can it can make sure that uh, these type of bank runs and uncertainty no longer will be with us. Like, it can fight off fraud. You know, th this is how Esau works. So Esau, Esau is very, he's very crafty with how he is luring and tricking people in, in walking upon his path. The book of Proverbs 25 verse 19, Confidence in an unfaithful man in a time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a food out of, uh, food out of joint. So Esau being responsible for this whole madness on this globe, is the same the same the same uh, villain that is trying to cause you to trust in them you know he's this devil is re responsible for causing all all the chaos ruin people and then this same person is is stepping to the forefront and telling you we have to go according to this i will make sure that this will not happen anymore if we if we implement cbdc's if we go, if we go move towards the mandatory making of the mark of the beast, that is how Esau operates. You know, it says, "Oh, let me read twenty as well." As he taketh away a garment <coughs> in cold weather, and as a vinegar upon nitre, so is he that singeth songs to a heavy heart. Yeah, man, because it's it's. It's like empty. It's like empty promises, man. People already have been Im impacted. People are already in cold. People are already wounded, you know. And uh, uh, sweet songs. Those sweet songs is like is like you 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 throw vinegar upon upon wounds, you know. And it's the same the same way how you can perceive it as well when we teach when we when we speak about. That it's biblical that this whole wicked empire is going to tumble down. That we're moving towards great tribulation. We're moving towards great uncertainty. You know, you may not even know where your next meal is coming from. More control. The implementing of the of the mark of the beast. The karakma, the micro C, the micro C hip. Many people, many people may not like um, the gospel that we push it, that we're bringing out. They may think like it's doom. It's pessimistic. It's negative, but it's the reality. It is what the Most I said that He would do. So we're telling you the truth, but for telling the truth, we we offend or we afflict or we we cause and make a lot of enemies. The Book of Sirach, chapter thirty-four, verse twenty-one: The bread of the needy is their life. He that defrauded him, the wolf is a man of blood. He take it away. He that take it away. His neighbor's living slayed him, and he that defrauded the labor of his hire is a bloodshedder. That is what Esau is. He is a bloodshedder. The amount, the 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 the, the money that people have earned, uh, um, the money that belongs unto them is actually being stolen. Is being lent to others with interest. You know, it's just it's, this is 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 a straight up scam that is taking place on the globe and. The people, the people are the most impacted by what is taking place because the scam, the scam is all about um, 
stealing not only the money from the people but stealing your freedom stealing your stealing everything from you stealing and controlling you that is where this scam is about so they are one step closer to to thinking that they're going to fulfill their their plan but it's just one step closer towards the downfall of the empire as they believe as they believe and think that they're going to fulfill they will not fulfill but a lot of people will be consumed by what is coming what, what is coming upon this earth the book of revelation chapter 3 verse 10 that's why it says here because thou hast kept the word of my patience you walked in the way of the most high you bear your cross you know you went to all difficulty patience goes in unto long suffering we are suffering in this wicked empire as we wait upon the lord to redeem us out of this estate as you deal with financial difficulty as you deal with uh, uh um you losing your job as you deal with uh, demons on people warring and fighting and, and 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 resisting against you against us in this truth as we fight against all these forces to abide until the lord is coming back to redeem us out of this estate we do this in long suffering we do this in patience it says i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation and the hour of temptation is the the moment when everybody will be tested to the point of taking uh, the micro c here the chip and not taking it and many might now might now say like man i'm not going to take this chip i'm not going to take this chip but are you really going to stay in the same energy when you will be uh, dealing with starfish and seeing your family members uh, starving when other diseases are spreading you know or when when they will say like okay if you if you don't take this then you cannot buy or sell are you going to still stay in that same mind or conviction or confidence of not taking it it says which shall come upon all the world everybody to try them that dwell upon the earth so everybody will be tested in this way nobody will be excluded no matter if you're a millionaire billionaire you got cryptocurrency you got gold you got it doesn't matter who you are or where you are everybody will be tried and tested in this way it says in the book of job chapter 20 verse 19 because he had oppressed and had forsaken the poor because he had violently taken away a house which he built not and that is what Esau has done you know it is not only the the land that he stole it's not only the people that he stole but he also stole their riches he he with with his violent schemes and crafty ways these globalist edomites have caused so much destruction and not only uh, um onto their own people onto the heathens but they have done this onto onto the israelites predominantly it says and as they and as they have all these riches they they get proud they get arrogant and they think that the most high is not going to stop them they really think that they're going to succeed it says surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly he shall not save of that which he desired you see what is what is it that he has in his belly all the riches they stole everything he puffed he puffed unto everyone it says there shall none of his meat be left therefore shall no man look for his goods in the fullness of his deficiency he shall be in straits every hand of the wicked shall come upon him yeah because more and more people starting to see who is or Edom is and what they cause upon the earth and as and as they as they see what Esau is doing on this earth and causing people will raise up and steer towards them and destroy the nation of Edom starting with starting with the elites but eventually the Lord will take down the whole nation of Edom it says when he is about to fill his belly the elites the globalists when they think they're going to complete the new world order the most i shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating so as they think they're going to seal the deal as they think they're going to complete the establishment of this one world government people all being chipped everybody being controlled the whole destruction comes from above divine the heavenly father he is going to take them down so it is a whole process it is a whole process this what is taking place is truly a a, 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 um, a faith boosting thing but also a, a, um, 
fearful in, in the way to behold like the Lord is truly doing and moving things right now in a way that we have been desiring. But you also see the spirits of people uh, 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 rousing up these entities being moved. The war that is actually taking place in, in, in a way of how Esau is convinced in thinking that he will succeed. As we see that we're getting closer and closer towards the end. But before the end, it's going to get worse upon this earth. And that is the process where a lot of people are going to lose their life. So may how Hashem and Shai guide us and be uh, merciful long to us in these days. Because things are truly leveling upon this earth, man. And you can sense it, man. Shalom.